Yeah. So uh, let me let me tell you astronomical story because well astronomy is one of the fascinating things and uh, and what uh, I'll draw a two-dimensional picture and maybe I'll make this story about that two-dimensional person right living on that earth sitting on the chair and observing in a telescope the sky right and then what happens is that there is a very distant star out there but between that person and that star there is something very dark but very massive maybe a black hole or maybe just a lot of things that you do not see or maybe you do see but what it makes is the light from that star to go this way being attracted to that massive thing turn the direction and come to that person from this way and also the light going that way being attracted come to the observer that way and now what does he see? Two. He sees two stars right? because if he looks in that direction like this, right? he sees a star and if he looks in that direction he sees another star what the observation shows is that there are two stars in the sky but in fact those are one star so have you ever thought about looking at the skies and actually two stars there are one star and in three dimensions you can think about different paths right and multiple copies of one star sitting out there have you ever thought about that so if you see multiple copies, I mean, how would you know? Because you, you don't know this, right? You don't know that. Because all we do is we are sitting here and observing. How would we know that this is actually happening? How would one check that? Well, what I see here and what I see there is actually the same thing. How, I, how one could even guess about that? object that is causing the gravitational lensing to occur and then work back. The mass of that object? Well, you, well, would, you would want to find the absolute magnitude of the star and then in relation to that star. Yes. And then... But, but you know, I, I think now there are two stars, right? Well, this is true. So, so how, how come I, I would even come to this idea, instead of two stars, there is only one? How would I think about it? Get closer. Hmm? Get closer. Get closer? <laughs> and, and check, well, and touch it? Yeah. <laughs> well, nobody can, no, I'm sorry. Know, I mean, no, nobody can. Well, what, what, you can, what you can do is you can watch the star closely and you watch the spectrum, right? And you see that, well, the spectrum changes because of the explosions there on that star and all kinds of things happening there, right? And now, the surprising thing is that, well, it would be surprising to you to see that you have two stars and you watch them and you see how the spectrum changes and those two spectrums change absolutely simultaneously. Now, can you possibly imagine two stars, one here and one there, millions of miles away from each other and doing exactly the same thing exactly the same time? Can that be possible, thinkable? There are a lot of stars. Sure, yes. So, so sitting here without being able to check, to go there and to touch that star, right? You face two possibilities. One possibility is to assume that, yes, there are two stars, and what happens 
to these two stars happens absolutely the same way forever. Because all your observations confirm that. All the explosions happen at the same time. Or the other possibility is to believe that what you see is actually two copies of one star. And those explosions actually happen as one explosion on one object. And then, well, it's your choice which magic to believe more, right? Because both look like magic, don't they? So you either believe that light goes not along the straight line, or you believe that there are so many copies of the same thing that, uh, this is just one of those interesting phenomena, experiments that people observe and want to explain, and they have to choose. Either to give up on one thing, on one belief, or on another belief. But even though the drawing here shows a curved path, it doesn't mean that the light is not moving in a straight line. Because it's a it is an aberration and the surface that it's going across that makes it appear curved, but it's still being straight. So now we, I mean, in order to discuss that, we will have to go into details of terminology because can you think of uh, something curved being straight? Right? Because that's what you that's what you just said, right? right. Uh, curved. Something that appears to be curved is actually straight. Well, you we'll have to kind of understand first what, what that means. I wouldn't want to go into that yet. Maybe we'll go into that later. Uh, well, as soon as we have some mathematical means to talk about terminology and uh, those concepts. <laughs>